Hello and welcome to the lecture of performance management paper F5 and today we are going to discuss the topic learning curve. Learning curve is one of the most easiest topic and it is very important uh, for exams. One question usually comes from this topic in your exams and today we are going to discuss this topic. So what learning curve is? It is related to our real life. Let's see what learning curve are they are saying. The learning curve is a statistical relationship which establishes the fact that the labor time per unit falls as a complex task is repeated. So they are saying that when the labor become more experienced, they become familiar with the product, they will going to take less time to produce the next product. You can take uh, an example from your own uh, life, like uh, remember the time uh, when you're using the keyboard for the first time and uh, you have uh, no, no idea where the letter A, where the letter B is, you're, you're facing difficulty in typing. So now you do not have to find the words in the keyboard, you know where the letters are, you became familiar with the product, you have used that uh, particular keyboard so many times that now you know where the letters are. So similar uh, is the concept of the learning curve which is uh, based on uh, the labor force that when the labor per force is producing uh, the first unit for the first time they will going to consume more time to produce that unit. But when they become familiar with that uh, unit, that product, that how to produce that product, now they become familiar and they will going to consume less time to produce the additional units or the next units right so this is about uh, the learning curve concept which is related to our real life now let us look uh, the use of the learning curve it is used to forecast two things the production time and the labor cost learning effect is exactly the same when the labor force become experienced and uh, they become a new product for the first time they will going to consume more time and when they become experienced they will going to uh, 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 consume less time to produce the additional units so learning rate is expressed in the percentage value that is 80 percent for example 80 percent learning curve now let us see uh, with the help of diagram uh, of learning curve so as you can see that uh, on y-axis we have average time per unit r and on x-axis we have number of units and you can see that this line is uh, in the curve form why this line is in the curve form a big question so let me clear this concept that why this is in a curve form so as you can see here the learning curve diagrams I have uh, made two diagrams now here I am showing that if the learning curve or we say learning curve but if this line is in a straight form it's simply representing that at certain point it will going to cut the unit line so what it is uh, representing that zero time is being used to produce these number of units for sake uh, for example you say uh, the, these are 45 units right 45 units so for producing 45 units the labor is taking zero time do you think is it possible that zero time is being used when you're even you're producing some units I don't think so because every unit takes some time uh, to get prepared to get produced so that's why uh, this line always is shown in a curve form because uh, it shows that at certain point a point will come when the labor be, uh, become uh, such an experience that they will not going to uh, they, now they will not have to uh, consume uh, more time to produce that product now the labor force has become so much experience that there is no more learning for them and they will going to use an average time a constant time to produce the further units right so that's why this line is always in a curve form and here you can see uh, this is the slope represented by B and it has a formula and we will going to look at it in our next slides. So let's start uh, now. First of all the methods of learning curve how we can find we can find this learning curve uh, by two methods method one is the tabular approach and method number two is the algebraic approach 
we will see what is tabular approach and algebraic approach. Now, the first uh, we are going to discuss the tabular approach. Now you are saying that the first unit takes 100 hours to get produced, right? And the learning curve is 80%. Now you can see here uh, in the table, uh, this is a tabular form and uh, the first column is of units and then uh, the average time and then the cumulative time. Cumulative time is the total time. So now when we are producing the first unit, the average time uh, to produce that unit is 100 hours because it's the first unit. So the total time is also be 100 hours. Now we are producing two units. Now as we are producing two units, now here the learning curve applies. What we are going to do, we are going to multiply 100 into 80%, right? Means 100 into 80%, we are going to get 80 and right, 100 into 80%, we are going to get 80. So now we know that to produce, uh, producing two units, the average time we are going to consume is 80 hours. So now if we are producing two units, it means that 80 plus 80, we are going to consume 160 hours to produce two units, right? And now we are going to produce four units more. So now for that, the learning curve again applies. Now we are going to apply the learning curve 80% 80 on 80 hours, right? Because now the first unit take 100 hours and labor become experienced. Now they are going to take 80 average hours to produce two units. Now here uh, they become uh, they are becoming more experienced and now they are going to uh, make less uh, consume less time to produce the further uh, units. So now 80 into 80 percent we are going to get 64 and we are going to multiply 64 into 4 we are going to get 256 total time of, uh, of the uh, production of 4 units right. This is the tabular approach. Now we are going to look at the algebraic approach. Now from the word algebraic you are going to uh, know that we are there is uh, going to be some formula for it. So algebraic approach. So now you are seeing uh, in your screens that y is, the formula is y is equal to ax whole power b. So what is y, what is a, what is b and what is x. So y is the cumulative average time per unit means the total average time per unit. A is the time to produce the first unit and what I have told you about the slope that it has a formula. The formula is log LR. Log LR is the learning rate means uh, the log of 80% divided by log 2 that is uh, uh, in the base and x is equal to cumulative time or output the total time right. So now let's see with the help of an example. Now this is an example of a BG. Uh, BG has uh, recently developed a new product. The nature of their uh, work is repetitive and it is usual for there to be 80% learning curve effect. Now you're seeing that uh, they have mentioned 80% learning curve effect and now the time taken for the first unit was 22 minutes. They have told us the learning rate and the time uh, first unit takes is 22 minutes. Now the, uh, let us see the requirements. What they are they saying that calculate average time per unit when four units were produced. Uh, requirement two calculate total time for four units and requirement three is calculate time for the four units. Now requirement one calculate average time per unit when four units were produced. Now y is equal to ax whole power b. The formula they are saying calculate the average time per unit when the when four units were produced, right? So now we know what is y. y is the cumulative average time per unit. b is a slope, x is the cumulative output and a is the time to produce the first unit. So we have given time to produce the first unit that is 22 minutes and we are given the we are uh, asked to find out the time, average time for the four units. So our output will be going to be four. And with the help of that formula of B, log LR divided by log two, we are going to get minus 0 0.3 to one. Uh, how we have found that uh, is log 80% divided by log two, we are going to get minus 0 0.3 to one. 
and after multiplying it we are going to get our first requirement why the average time per unit for producing four units is 14.0805 minutes right so similarly with the requirement to calculate the total time for four units now you know the average time to produce four units average time per unit for four units right one unit takes 14.0805 minutes now how four units will uh, how much four unit will going to take simply you will multiply it by four and you will going to get total time for four unit that is 56.32 the last requirement is very much interesting because they are not saying to find out the uh, calculate the total time for four units they are saying calculate the time for the fourth unit fourth unit so how we are going to find out we are going to find out with the help of three steps step number one first of all we are going to find out the average time for four uh, per unit of four four units that is we know first unit uh, if we are producing four units then uh, for four units we are going to uh, take time one unit we're going to take 14.0805 minutes similarly with the help of formula just putting the uh, I've just put put the values in the formulas right so because we are finding the fourth unit we are we are required to find the fourth unit so how we are going to find out the fourth unit if we know that how much four units will going to uh, the average time of four units are then we have to find out the average time of less than four units means four minus one uh, the previous unit than the fourth unit so we are we have find out the average time of three units just putting the values in the formula instead of four we have now put three because we are finding the average time for three units now we know the average time of three units and average time of four units now what we are going to do we are going to uh, find out the total time uh, for four units and three units right simply multiply four by the average time of four units and multiply three by the average time of three units now we are going to get for a total time of four unit is 56.32 minutes and the total time of three unit is 46.34 minutes so now we are going to subtract them and we are going to get the total time to make the fourth unit that is 9.98 minutes or 10 minutes approximately now this is it for today and i hope you like this video and if you enjoyed and learned something from this video then do like and subscribe my channel thank you